Blake Sierra, good morning. That's right. We are live in pin conning at the local Boys and Girls Club here. I am joined by two of our unit directors, Davina and Kelly. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. So, Kelly, we are in your fine arts room, and what are we doing right now? Today we are doing some marble art. Yeah. So, what the kids love doing, all the painting. So, what you do is you put your marble in the paint color that you'd like, put it in your box, and you roll it around until you get that great design going on. And then if you want two colors, three colors, we usually have all different kinds that they can do. And you get it to your liking. And then we have borders and we have glitter and uh, we can embellish those borders with some stickers that we have available as well. There's why? all different kinds of things that the kids can do. Awesome. Why do you think it's so important to introduce kids uh, who are younger into fine arts and arts and crafts, activities like that? Kids' uniqueness is one thing that we try to promote. Every one of them is unique in their own way. They have their own talents, and we like to showcase, as you can see on our back wall, different things that the kids do and promote their arts and talents and what they like to do. And so we try to go that route, what they are interested in, and make it fun. Awesome. Do the kids bring ideas to you usually or how do you come up with these different uh, games and activities for them? There's a variety of things that we do. Um, we look up li online and see different um, activities that are going on and then the kids do come to us and say, gee, can we do this tomorrow? And we're like, oh, cool, we will definitely do that. <laughs> and so we try to go with what their suggestions are yeah. as well because that just makes them more interested in being in the programs. Any new programs coming to the Boys and Girls Clubs this summer that you want to highlight? Well, this summer we have a variety of things that go on, a little different than when our, we are in our school session. And we have um, we have our garden gurus that goes on. We yes. actually plant garden out in front in the building, and we get to water those and do different kinds of things out there, weed them and everything, and the kids are always so excited, especially once the produce starts coming in. And then we go on 5K walks, yeah. and we um, also do some other programs called uh, Summer Brain Gain, which mm -hmm. is about reading books and reviewing them, and then we do projects related to those books. I mean, even just walking in this morning, the sidewalks were covered in chalk art. I can tell you kids are very creative and they, they love are. to get hands-on with stuff like this, which is so fun. And that's so important for them to do their own thing and mm -hmm. let their, their sides shine. Definitely. Well, thank you so much, Kelly and Davina, for being here. You're just our painting assistant this morning. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> that looks so cute. I've got some yeah, it's awesome. more color on here now. It's turning out good. Got to have glitter. Got to have glitter. I'm going to put a little glitter <laughs> on mine too real quick. Let's see what that looks like. Cute. It certainly jazzes it up. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you both so much. If you want to learn more about the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Great Lakes Bay region and their summer programs, we'll have all the information on our website. You can just visit WNEM.com. But live in pin counting, Lauren Piesco for TV5. I'm going to send it over to Matthew.